So for all the folks who want to know how my raised bed's getting on, it's kind of out of control, with good reason. So the soil wasn't quite ready, so I did a bit of chaos gardening and like planted lots of seeds everywhere to see what grew where, fine. Um, and I've got surprises growing up, sunflowers. I didn't even realise I'd planted those. Um, so the sunflowers are coming up, the green, no not the greens, the, the runner beans started growing up them which was quite funny, until the pumpkins and squashes all completely swamped everything and took over. So I think the beans have given up. We've got pumpkins coming everywhere, down here, everywhere, and coming to the sun. It's like 38 degrees today, so I'm, I'm watering just the earth, I believe. Over here we've got all kinds of squashes and pumpkins growing. It's fantastic. There's loads and loads inside. They really are ripening quick. The leeks, they're doing really, really well. Cauliflowers, I did, I did forget to build, oh, too busy to build, a, a hoop with netting over so the caterpillars did get in. The collies did start to grow, but um, didn't do well. The red cabbage have gone off like a rocket. I planted my friend's comfrey to save it for her because it was dying on her doorstep and that seems to be taking off quite nicely. And the nasturtiums, guttering being done in the background. Nasturtiums are sort of going over because it's just so hot. Um, one of the reasons I haven't weeded so much in here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say. We've got watermelon trying in here as well, but I do have some watermelon and aubergines and stuff all growing in the back as well by the steps. I'll take you there in a second. But first I'll tell you up here, I don't think you'll be able to see it on screen but in there in that little crevice there's a, a beehive a really really massively active beehive and twice now when i've been weeding down here <laughs> i've got a hat on today um they um a bee has been pestering me and i've ran away and it stung me in the head leaving the sting behind so had to be tweezers out so i thought well let it be weedy <laughs> i don't care um because it's not ideal soil this year anyway as you can see it's completely overrun. It's so hot. I didn't water them yesterday or the day before because we were out and I forgot. So they've gone really wilted. So I have just put, I've just connected the pump to the well water and I'm just watering the earth rather than the leaves because it's too hot to water the leaves. Um, I did this last week as well because I forgot. They seem to be coping with my neglect very well actually. Um, so phase one, mostly successful. Not entirely sure if you can see the bees going in and out. It's not as busy as right now as it usually is. I've let them all grow out into the parking area and everything. So I thought, great. How big a chaos gardening can you do? You can see I'm one of the sunflowers. The beans growing up. They really are trying. This chaos garden really is in chaos, but I don't care. I just had to plant something to get something going. Um, like I said, the soil was not ideal, but um, I'm going to get something, even if it's just a smile from the sunflowers. All sorts of things growing in here. All sorts of squashes. The tomatoes just kind of collapsed on me, but you can see there are lots of green tomatoes coming out. They should ripen at some point and we'll just grab whatever's there. It's uh, They've just kind of gone blah like I have today. <laughs> Here we are on my stone, granite stone steps. There's my shadow. There is me. You can see the sun is setting. It's been a very, very hot day. But if I stand on the ground and st stop my shadow blocking me, you can kind of see I've planted herbs, succulents, flowers, um, vegetables and fruits all mixed up in here. 
And so I've actually had no problem with pests at all, whether it's just because it's just so hot here in the stones, who knows? But the brilliant thing is, you can look out of it when you are floating on your lilo. It's amazing. There is the sunshine. <laughs> and as you come down here, I said, didn't I? I'd planted my watermelons coming out. There's another little one, <laughs> tinsy, tinsy one. I've rested them on a, a bed of weeds that I've pulled up to keep it um, soft on the bottom. Um, the watermelon is also growing up the um, the sweet peas, not the sweet peas, the, um, the peas, <laughs> which is fine. The peas have gone over, I'm letting them go over now because I want the seeds for next year. I've also got lovely peppers growing here almost growing they're into flower and I've got I've actually taken two off already if I dig through here you can see I've got lots and lots under there of aubergines look at that that's amazing it's a very happy vegetarian um, and the flowers look amazing the herbs are fantastic very fresh I'm even growing some catnip. It's a bit wriggly right now. <laughs> He's a funny boy. Who'd have thought that when we rescued him as a kitten, he was terrified. Um, who'd have thought he would be so lovely and friendly? A sweet boy. Under here, I'm just gonna pull this weed up. We've got strawberries blueberries which have just gone over. I've got some flowers. I'm going to weed this as well while I'm here. I've got some, I think this is sage. I took a cutting from a garden I was in. Oh the swimming pool pumps just come on sorry so it's not so peaceful now. I've got some great little sage I think it is. I took a cutting from somewhere. I've got my little Buddhist monks. And then the little monk, the, the Buddhist here, I've put a little succulent in his pot. Um, time. Everyone needs time. And then coming around one more time by the pool. And this butternut squash that I planted really late um, is actually just starting to thrive. So it might get some small ones off it. I've got tons at the front. Oh my God, I've just realised, because it's the first time I've crouched down here and actually looked at the peppers. They are not peppers. They're chillies. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'll show you my peppers that are definitely peppers because I took them from the seeds of a delicious pepper that I bought from Grand Frey, a red pepper. I loved it so much that I um, I took the seeds out to plant it. Um, excuse the mankini, but here we go. You can see they're growing. Again, a little late to plant them, but who cares? I could bring them indoors. Sun is setting really nicely now. It's taken a long time to get cool today. So I'm actually just gonna sit water the flowers actually and then I'm going to sit and enjoy the sunset.